Uh, Binotech uh, 17 limited edition uh, uh, Wonderfest uh, 2007 toy. This is a 1G review. Why do I call it 1G? Because I've got four of them. Yay! So if anyone has anything to trade not interested in money I'm interested in the toy I like the first two seven and eight and maybe the red uh, jazz but let's rotate them look at some of the mistakes I've made already this is the one I play with but that's scratched up scratched up this is plastic hood side these that's all metal this part doors metal backs metal this uh, fin here is plastic the tailgate opens up that's nice read back there it says black convoy there is Pretty nice looking car. Let's look at his engine. You could try to stick that up underneath his hood, but transforms like that. If anyone knows anything about this figure, he is the same as that guy over there. Got a little bit of wine, some squid, dehydrated squid to help me review. But uh, let's take a look at his interior. Uh, oh yeah, kind of nice. Got the little Dodge Ram on the steering wheel. Actually, that steering wheel does pump off. It's not glued in place. I actually popped it off transforming them, but got the child seat in there. Can I zoom in there? Let's see. Okay, well, he's got a little stereo and a lot of detail in there. A lot of gauges you can see. Pretty good. Okay, I got seven minutes to transform them. So, pretty, it's pretty tricky if you never transformed this guy before. But let's see if we can get him transformed. Let's do his lower body first. We pump that legs telescope. Do you guys think that looks bad? But Apparently you're supposed to switch around like that because that looks even better. Take that. I guess it's the uh, those uh vents or something that makes it look look better. But anyway, and uh, that's his legs. His legs are done. Pretty good there. Let's do his upper body. Uh, I recommend uh, dropping that the seats and folding them outward. That way you, you can uh, you get a little clearance when you when you're uh, and that child seat there in the middle that folds down. Okay, these pieces are held together by pegs. And they're not so black. Black, black cowboy. He's a bad guy. And his arms kind of pull out like that. Okay. You got him in that position there. That wheel drops down. That folds up like that. There you go. Nice and folded. Okay. You got him there. 
So I'm going to go to the top. I don't like that. Now, this is, you guys are thinking, well, this, this guy's uh, special. But anyway, you gotta pull this out and out that way. I find you pull it towards you and kind of slide it out like that. Transforming him back is a pain in the ass. Getting that. In this arm part here into there, pain in the ass. So, there we go. You can see his little Decepticon insignia there. Get that one down there like that. And he's done. Drop that down over his front. Fold his little thingies in. Get his gun, put it in his hand. His hands have a little little hole in there where the gun can fit in there, but anyway, basically pretty much like that. And that's him. Oh, it made his gun fall down. Pretty heavy since he's got all that metal on him. Uh you know when I got the kiss players and all the, I mean alternator, uh, alternators are good for recharging batteries on cars. That's pretty much it. But, uh, let's rotate them around. Full body shot. Three minutes, so I gotta go fast. Really nice figure, but you have to be careful when you're transforming them. Because you will probably scratch the paint. Uh, he's not like the alternators. He's really heavy. But, uh, pretty nice figure. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I want to get the first vinyl tech guy, seven and eight, and then the red jazz. Those are the ones I'm missing. But anyway, that's him. Say goodbye. Look at his head. I am a bad guy. I have a French accent. You're a bad guy. Now I have a European accent. Now I have a Japanese accent. Oh, ha ha ha. Japanese sound like this. Okay, my girlfriend's sleeping, so she'll probably kill me later.